Seven decades ago, a powerful storm slammed into southern New England. And the damage and the impact is unlike anything we've ever seen since. WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher shows us how Hurricane Carol left its mark on our history. Well, it's been a long time since New England has taken a direct hit from a hurricane, but it's been a really long time since a major one has come ashore. That last happened 70 years ago with the twin strikes of Carol and Edna. Carol gained strength near the Bahamas and rocketed north at 40 miles per hour, its eye crossing Old Saybrook, Connecticut on August 31st as a Category 3 storm. It's thought of as one of the most purely tropical hurricanes to ever hit this far north. Its eye was still clearly visible. Carol brought a 135 mile per hour gust to Block Island and a 125 mile per hour gust to Blue Hill Observatory. And that wind brought extreme damage. 4,000 homes were destroyed, along with 3,000 boats. The steeple of the Old North Church in Boston was toppled, crashing down on Hall Street. And even the WBZ TV transmission tower came down. Arriving right at high tide, the powerful storm inundated the south coast with a storm surge of over 14 feet. The waves and winds, they made Carol the costliest hurricane on record in the U.S. at the time. And it became the first hurricane name to ever be retired. Now, less than two weeks later, Edna made landfall on Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod. And as Edna approached, Edward R. Murrow and a CBS crew flew with hurricane hunters into the storm. Now, the distinguished anchor reported back that if a true definition of humility is ever written, it might as well be written in the eye of a hurricane.